Man, after watching that, I think I have to watch uh, Princess Bride again. <laughs> I'm, I'm picking that up today. Oh, definitely. Think, so. All right. Well, and now it's time to check in with the man who has the real opinion, Mr. Gino Reynolds, and you went and saw Hotel Transylvania. Yes, I did. Okay. I, I liked it a lot better than I thought I would. Really? I got to say, Adam Sandler, who I'm kind of tired of as him being a living cartoon, actually I think <laughs> is, should do more of this stuff. Uh, he, it seems to be more of his element right now, just using his voice. Because, you know, you see his live action movies, and he tries Ooh. to do voices, and they just, a lot of times, they don't work. I, you know, there's a soft spot because in my heart for Happy Adam Gilmore. <laughs> you know, Happy Gilmore is one of my favorites of his, mm -hmm. and I like a few of his others, but his, the act is just getting old. I, I like That's My Boy, but it wasn't because of him. Yeah. This, however, he got to make fun of Dracula the whole time, and the whole thing was. You know the perception of what these monsters it almost felt like monsters inc almost where okay you know they're supposed to be scary but they're really not and they're really just kind of fun and they they're like, just like they, they just want to live their own life and of course there's a whole they built the, the hotel because uh they want to avoid humans because of a tragedy i won't okay. i won't discuss because it'll kind of ruin a plot point but they built this hotel and it's just so they could stay safe. Mm -hmm. And now you're looking, I believe, I can't remember the, the span of time the hotel was there. And the whole thing is about a human coming in uh, to the, finding his way to the hotel and how that's going to change the okay. monsters for better or worse. And how many monsters are we talking about here? Because There's it's not tons. just Dracula, right? There's a few main ones. Uh, Steve Buscemi, who he plays, they call him uh, Marv, I believe, but he's uh -huh. the wolf man. Oh, excellent. Um, <laughs> he is probably the standout. Uh, CeeLo Green was the mummy. Uh, Kevin James is Frankenstein monster. Uh, there's a few other main ones, but there's just other tons of monsters uh, through the whole thing. It, it's a pretty funny movie. A little bit of juvenile humor through the mm -hmm. whole thing. But honestly, when my kids get a little older, it's something I would let them watch. It's pretty right. Fun. Okay, so definitely move to go see this uh, this October. I mean, it's Halloween yeah. time. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's a good time. The kids that were in the theater that I went seemed to have a good time, and they were probably five, six, seven years old. Okay. Good. So you know, there's a few scary moments, but it's not anything kids won't get over in a matter of seconds. Okay. So. Sounds good. Well, thank you so much thank for you. being here, Gino. I appreciate it, and we'll be right back.